Welcome to Isolation Vlogs! So, as you guys probably know, in London or in the UK, there is now a nationwide lockdown, which means we are going into lockdown 2.0, which means everything except for essential shops are closed. So, I am just spending this weekend at home. But I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I get up to in a weekend stuck at home. So, welcome to Isolation Vlogs. So, the first thing that I've done this weekend is I did my spin workout for the day. So, I am challenging myself, new challenge, new fitness challenge, guys. New month, month of November. Well, really, it's a continuation of last month's challenge. And last month, we were doing 31 days in a row of spinning. And now I've decided to add on to that and do 66 days of straight workouts, meaning I have to do a workout every single day for 66 days. And the reason is, is because I was told, or I researched this, that making a life-changing habit takes 66 days of doing that habit consecutively. So I am going to be working out for 66 days consecutively. Anyways, I think that this is a great initiative for anyone who wants to make kind of a change, be fit. And obviously I'm stuck at home. What else am I going to do? Might as well work out rather than eat, but I will also eat as well. But I thought working out this lockdown would be a learning from last lockdown. Last lockdown, all I did was sit around and watch Netflix and eat every snack in my cupboard. But this time I am trying to be more fit and active and more aware and trying to make this lockdown better than last lockdown. And also just to say my workouts totally helped me mentally. Like I don't know about you guys, but working out really puts me in a better mental space. Because if I don't work out, I feel so blah, and I just feel like I haven't done anything productive. But the second I work out, I feel so good about it. Anyways, guys, let's continue on with isolation vlogs and see what I get up to when I'm stuck at home alone. So guys, the isolation vlog continues. I have showered and gotten ready, although I'm just in comfies at home because I am at home. But I had just finished my workout, which you guys just saw, and I was starving and super craving like a massive burger and i thought i would make one and i have and i just wanted to show you guys how epic look how epic my burger looks i didn't even have to take away for that i didn't have to go anywhere i made that all on my own and it has some bacon in it by bacon i mean baked bacon and it's from this or this is not bacon i saw it yesterday in the grocery store and i wanted to try it out because lots of vegans go on and on about that brand being like the most real like brand of baked meat so i'm going to try that out now anyways i'm going to tuck in because i am hungry and post-workout hunger is real if you know what i mean give this video a thumbs up because i'm always starving after a workout but yeah I am going to go ahead and eat this and I will catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it is quite a few hours later and the main reason is because I fell asleep. I ended up eating lunch and then taking a nap. Actually, I was reading on my new Kindle. Actually, let me bring Zizi into this because she is really upset. Why are you so upset, Papas? Can you tell them why you're so upset? Yeah, guys, I'm really upset because there's fireworks outside my house and I'm not so happy about it. I don't know why all these British people put all these fireworks out. Huh, look how upset she is. I feel so bad every single time there's fireworks because it is, well, it was Guy Fox night on Thursday, but obviously people are still celebrating this weekend. And because of such, she is so upset. I just feel so bad because dogs get so upset and they get so anxious because of the fireworks. And I don't know what to do to calm her down, to be completely honest. I mean, I've been reading online that you're supposed to just leave them alone, but you can tell here that she just keeps on crying and I don't know what to do, Zizi. I don't know what to do. Feel better. It's okay. Mom's here. Calm down. Gosh, her heart rate is racing. Um, yeah, but <laughs> I ended up falling asleep. Susie and I took a nap this afternoon because why not when you are stuck at home alone? Take that nap. Do it. Do it for that self-care, self-love that everyone talks about. So guys, I am just editing the vlog for the last weekend, which is already up and live by the time you guys watch this vlog. It's my Ikea weekend vlog. I'll link it in the cards right now, and I'll also make sure to link it down in the description. And you can see here that I've just been busy editing, and now it's exporting. But yeah, I am just, you know, having a really chilled one today, to be completely honest. Um, Zizi is obviously not happy, and... I don't want to ruin anyone's fun and I don't want to say fireworks are bad, but obviously like dogs are heavily affected by fireworks and it's not, it's not like actually the 
the the light of the fireworks that everyone gets upset about, or the dogs, I should say, but it is the bang noise that she gets so upset about. And even though I close all the windows and doors and I try to keep everything as quiet as possible, she can still hear it because she has a really good sense of hearing. So if anyone is going to be sending out fireworks for any reason, not just Guy Fox Night, just obviously be considerate of animals. It's not just dogs. All animals get very anxious and very stressed about it. <gasps> yeah, that is just what happens, I guess. When, when they bang or that bang noise really causes her a lot of anxiety. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna continue editing. Another thing I did wanna talk about, which is something I mentioned in a vlog before, is my new Kindle. So before I fell asleep, I was actually reading on the Kindle and I have to say it is amazing having the paper white Kindle because it lights up and it makes a massive difference to me reading at night because I tend to read at night before bed or in these winter months where it's super, super dark outside, I was reading and it was all lit up and it was just so easy to read. So if you don't already have a Kindle, I would recommend getting one because they're amazing. But if you are gonna get a Kindle, do get the paper white rather than the older versions. It's totally worth the money to have the light up screen in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be making some dinner and I'll catch you guys in a little bit when I get up to something else today. Hey guys, welcome back. I have decided to do a little bit of late night baking, although it's not that late. I just decided to do some baking this evening. I am going to be making cranberry cheesecake bars, but they're a little bit different. I'm not going to be using any flour. They're going to be used with almond flour because I just have so much almond flour lying around because I did try keto for a while. So I have a lot of keto stuff around in my flat and I want to use up those ingredients. So that is what I'm doing today. Also, some exciting news, which I mean, I'm sure all of you guys would know by now, but tonight they have finally announced or declared or whatever you want to call it, the new US president because they finally finished counting all the votes in the US and that means that Joe Biden is going to be the new president for the United States of America, or at least that's what all the votes and all the news stations are saying for the US, which is really exciting, no more Trump. And also super, super exciting that Kamala Harris is going to be the first female vice president. Hey, yeah! um, really exciting that, you know, history has been made today. Really, really excited that, you know, big step for America. Let's see what the next four years hold, but I am going to be just cooking now. I have all my ingredients laid out here. I am going to be using all of these ingredients to make some cheesecake bars. Well, cranberry cheesecake bars. I will show you guys everything. I will link the recipe down below and do a taste test once I bake them. So let me actually get to baking them. kind of the done cheesecake bar. Honestly, I'm a little impatient and I didn't wait for it to completely cool because I just want some and it tastes so good already. I had a bite. I am just chilling and watching Emily in Paris on Netflix again. Yep, that is my Saturday night isolation vlog update for you guys. So if you have not seen Emily in Paris, I highly recommend it. It is such a good TV show and it's so funny and I know there's lots of controversy around it because it's like like making a lot of fun of the French but also honestly there's lots of stereotypes about Americans in it as well. But anyways, as an American abroad, when I first moved to Germany, I'd say I could relate so heavily to how Emily the main character in Emily in Paris is acting or what she's doing. So um, yeah, just watching the episodes again, one of the funny things that I thought like really reminisced back to when I first moved to Germany was the fact that um, when she climbs the stairs in her building, she goes up to what is um, it, the fifth floor. So she goes up five flights of stairs 
and she thinks she's on the fifth floor but of course in europe which is the same case here in london and, and in germany um the first floor the floor that when you walk in and you enter in is actually the ground floor and then you go up one level and then it's the first floor but in america when you walk in that is the first floor and then the second and then the third so to me it's just it's so weird because like even like now i live on the second floor in my apartment block but really in america it would be the third floor because there's the ground the first and the second and i am on the second floor so the ground first second but in america it's like first second third so technically i should be on the third but anyways i was just reminiscing about when i first moved to germany and how i felt so weird and out of place and emily in paris is a perfect uh not perfect but a pretty accurate uh example of what it's like to be an american abroad so if you haven't checked out them that series on netflix i highly recommend it i am going to eat my cheesecake and definitely tuck and enjoy it i'm just going to show you behind the scenes for a second here okay because everything looks perfect and like you know on instagram i like to show that everything's perfect look at the mess of my kitchen okay this is what i have to clean up and i am not excited about it at all but yeah this is the reality of making dinner and cooking well baking a little bit of a sweet treat and anyways i will clean this up and i will catch you guys tomorrow probably because i'm just going to watch the rest of emily in paris and go to sleep so i'll catch you guys tomorrow happy sunday guys i have had quite a lion this morning it is nearly midday and i just finished my workout cannot go a day without my workout so i got that in which is great i am actually since i'm already a sweaty mess have decided as you can tell from behind me and what's around me i've decided today is the perfect day for me to clean up my garden so if you guys are new to my channel or you've not seen my other videos regarding my garden i'll link them up in the cards right now for you to check out but i do have quite an extensive balcony garden which i grew over 10 kilos of tomatoes this year on this garden. I grew lots of chili peppers. Um, what else did I grow? I grew raspberries and onions and so many other things. So check out that video if you haven't already. But since it's the end of the season and it's basically mid-November right now when I'm recording this, I thought it would be a great time to kind of clean it up, organize it and kind of get it ready because a lot of my plants have died and I just kind of wanted to show you guys an update of where my balcony garden is at because I know a lot of you guys have been asking. So I am going to do a bit of an update but also a clean up and I'll show you guys exactly what's still living, what I need to kind of, you know, prune down or, you know, put away for next season. But yeah, I'll, I'll catch you guys in a minute and I'll show you guys everything about my garden. <laughs> got a few random bits here just some random tomatoes and chilies these are just honestly the last bit of the harvest but yeah not bad still in november getting harvest so guys isolation vlog continues and since i am at home and it is a sunday i have making an attempt to have my own sunday roast Yep, that's right. Normally what I go to the pub for on Sundays, which you guys have seen in previous vlogs, I've decided to try to make it at home. As you can see, there's garlic and paprika and salt on the chicken. And yeah, it's quite a large chicken, obviously, for one person. But hopefully I'll have leftovers for the rest of the week. But yeah, I am going to be making or taking my first stab of making a Sunday roast. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Sunday roast ready with Yorkshire pudding and gravy so guys as you can tell from behind me i have cleaned up my balcony garden and it is way darker outside as you can tell it's actually almost sunset and the main reason that it's so dark is because you would have seen some clips already that i spent probably about two hours cleaning up everything that you see behind me and then i also had sunday roast so it has been an epic sunday so far and it is amazing i'll stand over here so you can see like a better view of the entire garden but you can see here that like I have way more space because I've cleaned everything up and there's just way more space and it's way more organized now and I took out a lot of the other um, old 
plants and old tomato plants that you guys would have normally seen that were all lining everything behind me and so anyways I have cleaned this all up and it is all organized and I just feel like there's so much more space on my balcony now and yeah I probably will be doing a separate video for you guys where it shows like my winter harvest or my winter balcony garden because it is way different than what I had in the summer and what I actually planted earlier this year and what I harvested. But I have way more space on my balcony now and it's way more clean and I feel like I had such a productive Sunday. I guess in isolation when you have all this time, there's just so much more time to clean up and that's what I was going to suggest to you guys. So as we are isolating and we are going into lockdown 2.0, I would highly recommend that you organize something in your house and I organized my balcony which honestly has brought me so much joy because it's now all clean and organized and all the dead plants are gone and the tomatoes are gone and I actually still have a few more tomato plants here that you can see that these are the tomato plants that um, still have some tomatoes on them so I will be using or I will try to keep these alive obviously it gets really cold at night nowadays and I'm not sure how much longer these tomatoes will actually continue to live but um I am so impressed with all my plants this year. I cannot believe how many tomatoes, chilies, everything that I've grown and it's just amazing. Like look at all my plants, they're way more organized, they're healthier, they're happier and I feel healthier and happier and everything seems more clean and organized. But yeah, I also had Sunday roast which um, I'll go back in the house now because it's quite cold out here. But um, I did have Sunday roast which you guys would have seen which was pretty epic. I was craving a chicken roast for quite a few days now. I think I was like really into having chicken roast probably for the last three weeks but I just didn't get out to having it and because all the pubs are closed right now in England I decided to make a chicken roast at home which I showed you a few clips of earlier. Anyways I have some serious food coma right now and I am feeling very very full. I'm probably just gonna watch some Netflix and chill out and relax and just enjoy the rest of my Sunday. I think next weekend what I'm probably going to be doing on the vlog or at least talk to you guys about is some Netflix recommendations and also some like book recommendations because I've been using my Kindle so much to read and um, yeah I've been watching lots of Netflix because it is that time of year where it's winter and I tend to watch more Netflix anyways but also it's just lockdown which means that you know more Netflix time. So I am probably going to do a video, if not a vlog, something like that, in the future talking about all my Netflix recommendations and what I recommend to you guys. I was watching Emily in Paris last night, as you guys would have seen. But yeah, I do have tons of other Netflix recommendations to let you guys know. So if you guys are interested in content like that, please do make sure to subscribe because I will probably be doing another video very soon on all of that. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys in a bit and once I kind of like just digest all the Sunday roast that I just had and watch some TV and I will see what else I get up to this Sunday. But yeah, my main tip for you guys is to go and organize or clean up something in your house or your balcony or your garden because it has made a major difference to my mood by cleaning up my balcony as you guys would have already seen and I highly recommend that you guys try that out. Anyways, I will catch you guys later in, in my Sunday. So guys, I'm just mid-movie. I'm watching something on Apple TV and I decided I want to take a little bit of a break and make some hot chocolate and it the weather honestly calls for some hot chocolate and I honestly bought quite a few different things to make some hot chocolate at home. I bought this chocolate sauce and I bought some pure Belgian chocolate, um, well drinking chocolate and I wanted to make some hot chocolate and I wanted to show you guys that I'm just making it on the hob right now and I'm going to make it all fancy with some marshmallows and some whipped cream and some chocolate syrup on top. Anyways, I'll show you guys what it looks like in a second. Alright guys, I'm going to go and enjoy this hot chocolate and continue to watch, I'm not going to try it actually right now, it's way too hot, but I'm going to continue to watch my movie and have some hot chocolate and have such a cozy Sunday. So cheers guys! So guys, I almost forgot to say goodnight! Oh gosh, I totally forgot, I was just getting wrapped up in watching some Netflix that you can see behind me. I am honestly all over Netflix these days because of, you know, lockdown 2.0. But 
Anyways, guys, I just wanted to say thanks for watching through this vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching everything that I get up to during lockdown 2.0 here in London. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And if you have made it to this point of the video and you are enjoying my content or like seeing these vlogs of me in lockdown at home isolation vlogs, please do give this video a thumbs up so I know to create more content like this for you and if you're not already subscribed, please do smash that subscribe button because I upload two times a week on Sundays and Wednesdays and I would love to have you a part of my YouTube fam. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know exactly when my new video is going live. Anyways guys, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye for now.